In this video, I'm going to go through solving some problems using equivalent fractions and math drawings. So for the first problem, suppose I make a poster from two thirds of a piece of card. How much of the poster does one sixth of the card take up? So I've drawn a picture of the card here and I've shaded two thirds of it in blue to represent the poster. The question says, how much of the poster does one sixth of the card take up? So I've redrawn the card over here and I've divided it into sixths and I've shaded one sixth in red. So the question is essentially asking how much of the poster does this red shaded area represent? So I can see that for the poster, I've got four pieces. One of them represents one sixth of the card, but it represents one quarter of the poster. So how do equivalent fractions come into play here? Well, we can think of the two thirds over here as being equivalent to four sixths in this diagram, four pieces out of six. Uh, we were asked how much of the poster does one sixth of the card take up. So we only have one piece out of four and one piece out of four is one quarter. Here's another problem. One serving of cereal is three quarters of a cup. How much is half of a serving? So here's a picture of my cup. I've shaded three quarters of it in blue and that represents one serving. What I need to know is how much is half of a serving. So I need to divide the blue shaded area in half. So the way that I could do that is if I divide each piece here into two, and I've done that over here. So now I've got eight pieces instead of four pieces. Six of the pieces represented one serving. So three of the pieces must represent half a serving. And what are all the pieces? Well, there's eight of them. So each one must be one eighth. So half a serving must be three eighths of a cup. And how do equivalent fractions come into play here? The three quarters in the diagram on the left is equivalent to six eighths in the diagram on the right. And what is half of six eighths? Half of six eighths is three eighths. So that brings us to the first question. So a new problem. A casserole recipe requires half a cup of butter. Jean only has a third of a cup of butter. What fraction of the recipe can Jean make? So here's a picture to help you. One cup of butter, half of it is shaded in blue, and that makes one recipe. Here's the cup of butter again, only now, I've divided it into sixths. I've shaded two of them in red and two sixths is equivalent to one third. So that represents the one third of a cup of butter that Jean has. And the question is, what fraction of the recipe can she make with her one third of a cup of butter? So it can be helpful when you're working on this kind of problem to think about what the whole is that's associated with each fraction. 
So for example, the two thirds in this problem is here and the hole for that is one piece of card. The one sixth, that's here on the diagram and we can see that the hole corresponding to that again is one piece of card. The answer that we came up with was one quarter, that's here on the diagram and the hole associated with one quarter is one poster. So depending on the fraction, we have a different hole associated with it. For the second problem, the three quarters appears here in the diagram. The hole associated with it is one cup. The half appears here in the diagram and the hole associated with that is one serving. And then the answer that we came up with was three eighths. The three eighths appears here in the diagram and the hole associated with it is one cup. So that brings us to the second question. What are the holes associated with each fraction in the casserole recipe problem? So what's the hole associated with this half? What's the hole associated with this third? And then when you solve the, the problem, the first problem, what fraction of the recipe can Gene make? you'll come up with a, an answer. What is the hole associated with that fraction? So three holes that you need to identify here.